So, it's Thursday 22nd of uh, October and yesterday I went and picked up the new hedge trimmer which is right in front of us. Uh, I dropped off, I hitched the old uh, spearhead on and uh, took that down to Hunts, dropped that off and then I picked up this nice new shiny one. It's obviously a Shelbourne Reynolds uh, HD 865 VFRT, so variable forward reach, six and a half meter reach on the boom. Uh, she's telescopic, yeah, variable forward reach, telescopic. So yeah, I've um, so, so far literally just done a couple hours on it this morning. Um, so it's all still look very new to me, but I wanted to make a quick walk round video to put up this Sunday, and I shall maybe do a couple more bits of video. Uh, tomorrow or Saturday See how we get on. So yeah, I'll give you a quick walk round It's we've got a one and a half meter cut on it five foot cut And It's considering it's only meant to be 20 centimeters bigger than the one we had on the spearhead. It certainly looks a lot bigger and um, So far so good so far it, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, we've got this is the we've got the pump here that drives the that drives the rotor that's got the flails on it. I can't show you the rotor right now, but it's got belts in here that actually um, transfer the drive from the motor to the rotor. And we've got hydraulic. We've got a hydraulic uh, roller, so I can control that from in the cab. Put the roller down when I'm doing verges and lift it up out the way. I should have probably um, tilted the head up, but I'll show you that another time. Yeah, I can lift the roller up out the way when I'm when I'm cutting hedges. Otherwise, it it catches the uh, catches the hedge and gives you a rough cut. So this hedge trimmer is um, is quite special actually because it's not just a normal hedge trimmer where you've got a straight boom, you know, first section, second section and telescopic it's got the variable forward reach which um, hopefully you would have seen at the beginning of the video what I demonstrated and basically so we've got a pivoting point we've not only got a pivoting point here but we've got one uh, up there as well you can't, it's hard to see so basically the boom is controlled by that hydraulic ram the boom comes forward and it comes a fair way forward it comes in line with the steps and I think if you have a seven and a half meter reach, telescopic, it goes even further forward. Because obviously the more reach you've got, the further forward it will go. Uh, yeah, um, six and a half meter telescopic. And it also pivots here as well. So that bit of the boom goes forward and then this bit of the boom um, pivots back to keep the head parallel with the tractor. And it doesn't only go forward, it actually goes backwards as well, which you would have probably just seen. So yeah, brilliant. It should save save neck ache. Um, being how being able to have the the head a bit further forward should save my neck aching because I'll be sat on it all winter. Um, uh, so yeah, it's very very well built. There's a lot more steel been put into this machine than what there is on my old machine on the uh, spearhead and even even on the McConnell. There's more steel. It's chunkier than um, chunkier steel on this hedge trimmer than what there is on the McConnell. We looked at Spearhead, McConnell, and Shelbourne at Lama Show, and this one definitely looked like the best built. Um, I've got nothing against uh, McConnell or Spearhead. The Spearhead was a very good hedge trimmer, and it was very, it was reliable. It was good. So moving back to the main unit. Um, yeah, we've got ram here for which pivots the whole boom round into transport position, which you would have seen. Main lift ram that goes up. Uh, that ram does boom out, and then there's another ram here for telescopic. So it's got plenty of plenty of rams on it. Got a little toolbox here. I'll put a couple of flails in there. Spare flails. It's got the I do know it's got the heavy duty flails on it 
I don't think you can see. You might be able to see. In there. Um, I'm not sure how big the oil tank is on it. We've got a cool in fan for the oil tank. I did notice this morning when I was using it, the oil did get hot, get warm pretty quickly. So from the PTO shaft, it obviously goes to, from the tractor, onto a gearbox, which then the gearbox drives this main hydraulic pump, which, so that's, that's the feed from, going from the hydraulic tank, and then that's out. So that's in and that's out from the pump, basically. And then that goes to like valve blocks and spools and things like that. Morning. So, done first day's hedge trimming yesterday with the new trimmer. And I've got a few adjustments that I want to make. Two of them I'm going to do this morning. It's Friday morning, by the way. And one of them will have to wait a while. But the first one being the, the hood on this head. This hood here is adjustable. You can see here that you've got a range of bolt holes that you can have it in. I want to lift it up. I want to angle it up here so that um, you can fit in taller hedge, basically. Um, well, you can fit in tall hedge now, but it, it, it bends the hedge over before it cuts it. If the hedge is more stood up, if the hood is up and then the hedge is more stood up, uh, as it's going into the trimmer, it gives you a much cleaner cut. So that's one adjustment I'm going to make in a minute. The other one is I do need to clean up that seed. That's the wheat seed what I dropped out the drill. Eric's good this morning. He just uh, found a donut from somewhere. I don't know where he got it from. He just ate that, so he's good. Eric's had his breakfast. The other adjustment I want to make is on the. It's a bit dark. On the control armrest. I want to extend this out, sort of like here somewhere. And all I've got to do is there's nuts and bolts in the bottom here. Unbolt them, move it out, and rebolt it. So otherwise, at the moment, my elbow is right back here, and I sort of think it'd be more comfortable if I had the joystick up, joystick up here. And the third adjustment that I want to make is at some point go and borrow the neighbour's. Uh, wheel tractor wheel trolley and switch these back wheels around if you remember last winter we did the front ones and now you can see this we switched the front ones around um, we widened out the track space in so we could get a tighter steering lock so the tractor would turn tighter but we didn't do the back ones and I want to do the back ones now because it will make the tractor more stable if it has a wider back axle and also to protect this wheel arch as well because quite a lot of the time I'm running with the head you know forward in line with the wheel or even further forward I'm worried I'm going to bash the the wheel arch with the head so if I move that wheel out a bit it will protect the wheel arch Right, just quickly adjust this uh, armrest. Just those two 13mm bolts. Two washers. Right there. That was a 24 on the the hood on the head that was a 24 mil bolt what uh, this just undone so it's great for big bolts and little bolts
I've just done a second day of hedge trimming with the new hedge trimmer. Uh, yeah, it's Friday afternoon. And yeah, really pleased with it so far. Um, yeah, just been trimming tracks for the last couple of days, just practicing with the new machine before I go out on the road. I just thought I'd quickly, I'm about to go back to the yard and wash and wash it off because I'm off at the weekend. Uh, so before I go back to the yard, I thought I'd just quickly show you the controls. Very simple to use. Um, if I try and do this so that you can see the joystick and the, the boom. Um, so we've got the main joystick here, uh, which controls the boom. So we go out for, or left for out, boom out, or away, away for away, towards us for the boom to come towards us. And then we've got back to go up and forwards to go down. Simple as that. And then we can twist the twist the stick to control the head. And it is proportional, so you can just twist it a little bit and it will go really slowly. And then you go twist it the whole way and it will go fast. So that's all simple. On top of the joystick there is buttons for the telescopic. So we'll press that one, she'll telescope out to uh, six and a half meters. I'll press that one, it'll come back in again. Um, and then the, going down to the buttons on the box. Uh, obviously, that's for power on and off, the main red one there. Um, and we'll start down here. These two here are for the variable forward reach. So we go, press that one for it to go back. And it goes right back, and then it, we press this one to go forwards. Bring it back forwards again. Uh, we've got these two here are for, to switch it round into transport mode. So we'll press that one. She'll spin round like that. See, she'll go right round the back, like you would have seen at the beginning of the video, to put it in transport position. We'll bring it back again on that button. Uh, these three here are to control the rotor. So we've got uh, forwards, which are used for hedges, backwards for verges, and and cut out to stop the rotor, that one is. So if I hold in the green one, it will start the rotor. And then if I press the red one, it will stop it. Um, these one, what that one, two, three there, that's one is for auto reset. So if I'm going along hedge trimming and the boom gets caught, the head gets caught up in the brambles and the boom will, the hydraulics will give way and the, the head will go wrap back round. And then I have auto reset switched on so that it will, when the brambles are cleared or broken, the, the head will come back to back to its position, its auto reset position. And then these two are, this one is uh, head, that one's for boom float and that one's for head float. So for when I'm doing verges, it'll all go into float basically. So it will just follow the ground. When I turn the boom float on, it turns on the head float. If I, t I can just run head float without boom float. So that's it. I'm gonna fold it up now and go back to the yard and quickly give it a wash off before I put it away for the weekend because I don't want it sitting dirty all weekend. And then next week I'll show you some hedge trimming. Some actual hedge trimming. We'll go this way, don't we? We'll just check that that's lined up. No, it's not lined up. Uh, we want to bring it forwards a little bit. There we go, now we'll boom around. Got, can you see the stop that's uh, leaning forward or moving forward? That's the boom stopper to stop the boom from hitting the hitting the cab. Uh, and we bring it down onto the stopper. Stops are good. And now we will press the red button to switch it all off.